What's up, man, gamers? Welcome back to another great video. We've been talking all week about the 4-3 under. Today we're going to show you some coverage defenses out of the 4-3 over formation. Um, you know, or what you could also do is maybe use the 4-3 over plus. Um, I personally like the 4-3 over just because the way the coverages play. But the 4-3 over plus does actually look a little bit more like the 4-3 under. So you can do whatever you want uh, with that. You can also use the 4-3 stack and just shift the linebackers to the right. Uh, but we're going to use the over plus actually now that I think about it. I want to come out in the cover four. And it's very simple, guys. We're going to base a line. We're going to pinch our defensive line. And we're going to spread our linebackers. Uh, we're not going to spread our linebackers because they're already spread spread out like we would want them to be looking in a 4-3 under. So now it looks just like a 4-3 under. Okay, we've spread. Um, you know, we, we shifted our line. Now we're going to make all of our hot rod adjustments. Remember, we like to take the inside guys and man them up. So we're going to man up square here, defensive tackle on a halfback. We're going to take Logan, and we're going to man him up on the slot on the right side. We're going to user control the yellow zone over in the middle here with Ryans, and we're just going to play some coverage defense, and we're just going to say, you know, beat us over the middle. We're going to force them to take the underneath with the cover four, and it's just going to really kind of frustrate a, a lot of times, and it really does uh, get at some people. The next coverage defense we're going to go over is the cover three. Same basic scenario here. We're going to base a line. We're going to pinch our defensive line. We're then going to man up square here on Marshawn Lynch. We're then also going to take um, Cox here, and we're going to man him up on Baldwin. We're going to send a two-man pressure off the right edge. We're going to user control Ryans over the middle of the field. And you see that the cover three is uh, one of the better defenses in the game stock just because of how much of the field it covers. And you see you'll eventually get that block shed for a sack. The next coverage defense we're going to go over is the cover two sink. And here we like to base a line, pinch our defensive line, and what I like to do is take both of these defensive ends, drop them in deep blue zones, and then um, I like to use our control over the middle with Ryans here. This is going to do a nice job of protecting those popular seam passes that everybody likes to throw. By dropping them into deep blue zones, they're going to get deeper, play a little bit better. Another thing that you could potentially do here is man them up on the slots, uh, just in case those slots try to go on, on streak patterns and things like that nature. You have now three eyes in the area. Coverage defense is all about dropping people in a specific areas based off tendencies. But in the cover two sink, we really like that base shell of you know dropping those guys in man assignments or in deep blue zones to really make them and force them to go underneath. And if you're using the right guy at the right time, this could be an interception. The final coverage defense I like to go over is the two man under. And what I like to do out of that is base a line, pinch my defensive line. And then take D'Amico Ryans here, put him into a deep blue zone. I'm going to take both of these safeties out on the outside here, put them in curl flats or flats, depending on what you want to do. Uh, I find that uh, flats actually do a better job against, like, out routes and corner routes, and curl flats do a better job against, like, you know, like deep in routes and, and streaks and stuff like that. Um, then what I like to do is take this uh, defensive tackle square here, man him up on Marshawn Lynch, and then I'll take Cox and drop him into a hook zone. It's a really good coverage defense out of two-man under, and uh, we really like the two-man rush out of this. And it uh, just forces the quarterback to really kind of have to stay in the pocket, uh, and it just is a nice alternative to our blitzes. So that's how we do the 4-3 over plus coverage defense. Be sure to come back tomorrow. We're going to show you a little 4-3 under red zone defensive tip for you. Hopefully you'll enjoy it, and we'll see you then.